Hello, my name is Lynn Porco. Check out Yes Have Some Podcast. Just a little tidbit for you guys. Don't be stealing me gold, okay? I'm going to come after you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to find you. <laughs> From the corner penthouse of Spook Central, all the way to Star Killer Base, this is Yes Have Some Podcast. Do I? Yes Have Some. Yes Have Some. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags. The only place in the multiverse where you can love the book, hate the movie, but still buy all the toys. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. I'm not looking for a friend, I'm looking for a Jedi master. A what? Please remember to hold on to your butts and get ready to get stressed with your hosts, Craig Goldberg, Abigail Gardner, and Jacob Walsh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yes Have Some Podcast episode. I have no idea. 132? 132. I've lost track. My name Papa? is... <laughs> Papa? I've lost, I've lost myself. I've lost me? Craig. Uh, I feel like we've been podcasting for 10 hours. Uh, hello. I'm Craig. Uh, I'm here with Abby. Hi. What's up, guys? <laughs> Abby just, it has been such a long like hey, marathon podcast event. Abby just waved at me can, can. when I said that. I was like, no. I, I wait. Yeah, they can see it. Uh, I was trying to check. I think this is one thirty-two. This is not live. Um, okay, Jake, what's up, man? Oh, I thought they could uh, see just me. Just hanging out, you know, just like getting ready to do this whole episode. I'm excited for it. it's going to uh, be good. It's going to be good. Cool. It's going to be good when we do it all after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's for what the, we're going to do. Yes, upcoming, <laughs> brand new. We have our uh, interview, our exclusive interview with Lyndon Porco, star mm-hmm. of Leprechaun Returns. We so do. stay tuned for that. Very excited. Mm-hmm. Are you guys excited? Yeah, I I can tell you that I feel like it's going to be a good. Interview. I feel like it's going to be. I think good. it's going to be a good yeah. talk. Um, but before we do that, we wanted to make sure that we said hello to everybody and said welcome to the podcast and plugged our social media and stressed out about Ghostbusters and all of that stuff. If you yeah, I hear there might be like a new. Yeah, there's something going it's on. Like a new game. Or yeah, something. like they're doing game. a like a virtual reality thing. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> Remember what, like a year ago, like the best we could hope for was like, dude, yes, Ghostbusters world. I was looking at an old fuck budget, like from an old notebook today, and hey, it was talking about. A, Continue. I, hey, let's do an update. Mm-hmm. If you if you had to guesstimate the total amount of hours you have spent playing Ghostbusters world, what would it be? Abby, go zero. Okay, Craig. Uh, zero. Zero total hours. Okay, same. <laughs> <laughs> The total the total amount I have played Ghostbusters uh, was probably about five minutes while me and Craig were playing, waiting on Abby to get ready the day it came out. Uh-huh. When yeah. we were going, we're so playing, waiting for Abby to get ready is a I fun game. Uh, saying reassuring things like, "This is fun. This, this is, is good. good. We're just like, hey, this is good, right? This is good. <laughs> it's fun. This is Ghostbusters. This fun. is the part three we we deserve." Um. I have to just yell. Abby is uh, making noise. What I didn't. You? I can't hear it. I have headphones on. Can you <laughs> she, hear that? Yes. You're just rubbing I, a notebook. I'm sorry. I have a sequence notebook that you can like. I'm just gonna throw it, so I won't play with it anymore. Abby just threw a notebook at our toys. You can like do designs in it. <laughs> Anyways, um, listen. The Ghostbusters trailer review is already up. You might be wondering what we're talking about, uh, but unless you've been sleeping under a farmhouse with an Ecto-1 in it for hmm. the last 24 Under hours. a tarp. I couldn't <laughs> remember the word tarp when we were recording I that thought, I thought you were going to say unless you've been sleeping inside of a well. Oh, uh. unless you've been sleeping inside of a well for the last 30 years. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. That's good. That's <laughs> it also works. Hey, do you think NECA is going to put out a leprechaun figure? Fuck. I meant to ask oh, him if he was going to get an action figure. God. All right. Get him back on the line. If we haven't talked to him yet, <laughs> call him back. So hey, listen, make sure you hey, make sure you forget to ask him that question in the future when he's on. Yeah, cool. It's like Bill and now Ted. that you've thought of it. Oh, remind myself in the future to buy hot pockets and put them in the freezer. You think they'll be there when we're done? 
<laughs> That's my favorite rule. Um, Abigail. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited. It's been a whirlwind two days, 24 hours at this point. Like we were inside at this toy room doing our Ghostbusters Facebook Live conversation last night. And that was like an impromptu hour and a half podcast. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm extremely excited. We refer to this as like an alternate 2016. It kind of feels like we've got a chance to actually reboot things and like maybe go in the right direction. Yeah, we're now, we're, we've gone from rebooting a movie to rebooting an entire year of our lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Um, if you have not listened yet, you can find it already on the podcast feed. The uh, trailer review that we did uh, with John Yerkeba, we wanted to get something out. Um, obviously, we're going to have a lot more uh, reactions and, and coverage of the Ghostbusters stuff moving forward. But we wanted to make sure that we uh, got our review up before uh, it was outdated information. Yeah. It's right. tough. It's tough. This stuff happens. So, like, we were going to do a surprise podcast just when we got the announcement, how dumb we, I would have been like, and here it is. Send. Oh, there's a trailer out. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, but that's another episode though. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about Ghostbusters on this episode. We're going to talk about Leprechaun because we have the star of Leprechaun returns. Lyndon Porco. He's going to be joining us here uh, on YHS in just a few minutes. Now, before we get to that, we've been doing this thing every week. That's been a lot of fun. And I don't want to skip this week. So, I've done it for like the last two months, and I'm going to do it again. Jake? Yeah. What'd you buy this week? Man, I bought, I bought a few things. You know, I, I had kind of, I think the last time or two you asked me this, I was like kind of coming off of Jurassic Park stuff, which I, I, I got a couple things on my watch list. Uh, but I did buy a couple things this week. Uh, I bought like a small uh rubber like replica of a critter but it's like a small little toy it's just like one of those little vinyl toys um <clears throat> but the main thing i bought which was like i talked to you about this already it was like sort of an accident but not really um sometimes i go to a big bad toy store and i will add stuff to my cart so i so i remember that it's there Right. So like, so I won't forget about the figure. Like I'll go there and just look for an hour and be like, Oh, this is something I'll want to buy in the future. Let me add it to my car. So I don't forget about it. And I added this like, uh, accurate Tyrannosaurus Rex figure. It's like, it's got nice. It, it's very nice. It's got like a special, there, it comes in like three different paint jobs. I added the like more expensive one into my car. Of course um, you have to. Yeah. But well, it's the prettiest one. And <laughs> And, and I pressed the like, I, I pressed the buy it button, but I was assuming that it was going to take me to PayPal to finish the, uh, you know, the thing. And, the, and the, the reason job. I was, the reason I was doing that is so I could see like what it was going to be with the shipping and everything. Yeah. But it skipped that step and it just was like, you bought it. <laughs> it, did, it, never, it didn't take me to PayPal. PayPal. It's like, I guess it already had all my PayPal stuff stored from last time. Right. So it just completely bypassed the like, you know, the second authorization. And I it just that. was like, you bought it. That's like um, when you. Um, it's like a good mistake. It's, it's like, like your favorite it was, mistake. It was one of those where it's like, I want to I want to be able to say that I, this was an accident because it's kind of expensive, but I want it. Yeah, it's like when I'm like, I didn't mean to eat the whole pizza. Yeah. Oh, did I order two french fries? I don't know if I want Did they give me a large? It. <laughs> it's fine. So, oh, I forgot I, I bid on that thing and kept adding bids to it. So it's it's coming in. Hey, you know what? Let me tell you guys something else that I've, I, I haven't I have actually pulled the trigger on it yet, but I've sent out the email. You guys don't even know about this yet. We um, don't? This is breaking news. It's not a toy, though. It's oh, it, This is gross. more of an experience. Uh, but I haven't told I haven't told anybody about it. Um, there is this park in the Everglades. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you you know where this is going. I, I don't, but you it's, and your parks. It's seven. It's like seven hour drive from here. It's it's like in the. It's like the the, the furthest you can go in Florida. Before are you, are you looking for the remains of that value Atlantic. jet flight? <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's a. Oh. It, it's it's a park. It's like a national park. There's animals and uh, but uh, one of the one of the guys who works there used to be on on a like a National Geographic show. He's the he's the alligator handler down there, and um, you you can um you can take this tour where 
you you just get in this pool with an alligator and you swim around with it. There's no cages or fences. You can like swim under it, around it, take pictures. It's just like a one on one experience. It's like you, the handler and this animal. It's like a 45 minute thing where he just takes you in and he and he'll talk to you. And he it's like an educational thing. But you also get to just be up close with, you know, like this this creature that's like, you know, maybe maybe not technically uh, related to a dinosaur, but is like kind of like a dinosaur. And, um, I, I, I have, I have, uh, started the process <laughs> into, into doing this. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, can you at least put your receipt in a detoff? <laughs> <laughs> can somebody come film it? I'm, wow. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can bring the, the alligator home. I'm going to just mm. steal him. I know how I you like to take these with I'm you. Gonna I'm going to go in there and steal it. I'm going <laughs> to see if I can bring a detoff to the Everglades. I'm going to bring a detoff down there and be like, hey, will you just take a picture of me with this detoff on one side and the alligator on the other side? Yeah. Uh, well, dude, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little different. It's not a toy thing. It's not something we usually talk about. But uh, No. Yeah. No, that's good. but it's up your alley. Yeah. You're diversifying. I like that. You're collecting yeah. experiences now. I'm collecting experiences. <laughs> hey. yeah. You know, I, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And he made a post saying, like, these are the dates I have available. And one of those dates is my birthday. Oh, oh. okay. So February like, hey, 25th. Third. Damn it. Uh, February 23rd. You're close, man. Terrible person. I don't um, know when your birthday is. Uh, yeah, I didn't know when Jake's birthday was. It's March or May. March. March. It's right, easy to remember, Craig. March, it's 316. Uh, Month's 316. Dun, 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 dun. I'm November 20th. Just thought I'd throw it out there. I thought you yeah. I'm surprised you're not April 20th. <laughs> April. Uh, Jake, that's very cool. I wanna I wanna swim with an alligator. Um Yeah. Super neat. Well, you guys some are welcome to come. Some people to. collect toys. Some people collect experiences. Some people collect sexual partners. Yeah. And uh, we do. We all do things. all of that. <laughs> God damn it! Damn it! Um. Well, listen, Jake. That's pretty cool. Anything else? Uh, th- th- I think that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's all I've bought this week. Cool. Very Abby, neat. did you buy anything? I did. I bought a prom dress. <laughs> going to what? an I'm going to a party uh with Craig for his work um and my work this is my work the, what we work have, yes other have than some having a party yeah, yes have some prom no guys without going into all the details of Craig's life I had to buy a dress and it's very fancy and I went to Bloomingdale's um and I'm matching the dress with my Sylvester Stallone Rocky 2 tiger jacket. The whole look is based off this jacket. I am very pumped. I have hoop earrings. I feel like Rocky himself when I put the dress on. And I, uh, I remember I that was... part where Rocky put on hoop earrings. <laughs> I remember that scene. No, but it, it's got me pumped because no, I don't really like going to dances, but like being able to wear something that's like part costume and partially from something that I love. It's a cosplay. Yeah, it's, it's Are you going to put that me. jacket in a detox? Maybe. <laughs> I, it might look nice folded with other jackets that I will hopefully collect. This is the dumbest. Qu- I'm going to keep asking this question. What can you do with a detoff? I should have asked Lyndon Porco in our next interview that we About haven't done yet. Um, the, the coming up, upcoming. I uh, I got some stuff in. I got some more real Ghostbusters toys. Um, it's it's the same. I've been buying a lot of RGB stuff, and I did get uh, my prototypes in which I'm very excited about. Um, So I now have three Maddie Collector Ghostbusters prototype figures. Uh, I told myself I would never start buying these, and I immediately started buying them. And I'm never going to stop, and nobody can tell me otherwise. Um, Nor should they. Nor should they. Mm -hmm. Uh, So right now I have a um, the the ready-to-believe-you lab coat Ray, uh, which is an unpainted... I, there's a lot of lingo in the prototype world that I'm not 100% familiar with yet, uh, but it's not painted. It's kind of a like a, a off white with like pink arms and an orange face. It's very crazy looking, um, but I love it. And then I have uh, another figure of one of the removable pack Ghostbusters uh, unpainted uh, and it also doesn't have a head. Headless. It's a headless Ghostbuster. <laughs> headless Ghostbuster. Um, so it could be any Ghostbuster. But that's cool, yeah. Um, And then the third one, which is really cool, is a semi-painted slime blower ray. Um, The slime blower is not painted. It's all black, uh, the gun and the tank. 
uh, and the legs are black. So it's it's a very cool. I'll, I'll put up some pictures. Um, I don't know why I'm buying these things other than I like them and I can and deal with it. Um, mm. But unlike Abby's jacket <laughs> and Jake's experience in the Everglades, mine are in a detolf. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. So um, and they look good in there. They look good. On top of that, I did. I got some uh, mint on card uh, Ghostbusters figures. Um, I've got. The mini traps, the mini goopers, and the mini shooters all mint on card. Um, and I don't know, man. I think I like Ghostbusters. I've been I've been doing some self-talk, yeah. self-examining. <laughs> I've been self-examining myself. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm excited. <laughs> I am too. That's I think a- our tour room has been looking better and better over the last couple months. We've really stepped it up since seeing uh, old Barbie Eddie. <laughs> Barbie, what top? Bobby eighties. Bobby eighties. Bobby eighties. <laughs> um, I also got some new Black Series figures. They um they started re releasing uh the original Star Wars Black Series figures that have kind of been out of print and hard to find uh, with like updated new paint jobs. Uh, so I got the first four of the Star Wars Black Series archive figures, which are Boba Fett, Bosk, IG eighty eight, and a little Luke Skywalker in his uh. <laughs> not stormtrooper mm-hmm. flight suit what are they called x-wing pilot X-wing. thank you yes. god yeah. my brain is toast let's get to this interview what do yes. you guys say yeah let's dive we'll into it. this interview cool nice. upcoming interview with lyndon porco that we have not previously recorded we have not recorded yet lyndon porco is the star of leprechaun returns he has the passing the torch we've wanted from Warwick Davis to Lyndon Porco. Uh, he, uh, all joking aside, is a super nice guy. Really happy to have him on the podcast. And uh, really interesting how he got his start and, and his experience making Leprechaun sounded like uh, it was really special. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy the interview. Uh, before we do that, though, we got to talk about Yes Have Some podcast, social media, and Patreon. So let's do that real quick. YHS Podcast. If you want to find us on social media, we are blowing shit up with this Ghostbusters stuff. It's at YHS Podcast. We are. We are. That's, yeah. our, new tag, that's our new tagline. We're blowing, blowing shit up. We are blowing shit up. Yeah. Um, Dude, look at our views. It's nice. Our views are high. Um, is Kristen Wiig in this one? I'm going to stop. Uh, you know what? I got to put the past and let it, let it be. Yeah. Let it put be. it behind you. Put it behind me. Alternate 2016. At YHS Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash yes have some cast. We also have an official yes have some podcast discussion group called yes have some group therapy. Abigail Gardner. How do you get there? Super easy guys. Go to facebook.com slash yes have some cast. You'll see our main page Scroll on down. You will see one of the first things to pop up is, yes, have some group therapy. (sighs) Click on that. Ask to join the group. There's like 400 and growing members. I will approve you or Jake or Craig, but probably me because I'm fast with that stuff. And then you can post about your barges and your stress. God, you got good at it. Yeah, I got really good at it. It's not fun anymore. It used to be like, what's Abby doing? And now I know. (laughs) Because um, I learned. You can find the discussion group there. And uh, yeah, post what you bought, what your thoughts are on the new Ghostbusters movie, what your stress level is. It's going to be good. Um, if you're listening to YHS, make sure that you are subscribing on iTunes. You can find us on YouTube or Spotify. And please, 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 we ask you, if you enjoy what you're hearing, which we know you do, please leave those five-star reviews on iTunes. It only takes a couple seconds of your time. And those reviews help us more than you could ever imagine. We also like when you... Uh, Type out a review. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you Patreon. think. Tell Patreon. Tell us that we're cute. Give us some money. Oh, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> just money. a dollar. I'm For as little as one dollar a month. Just you can a dollar. Also find Yes I Have Some on Patreon. Jesus. It's easy. I give a dollar every month because I was the test account. You don't even miss oh, it. Oh, you do? Yeah, a dollar hey. comes out of my account to Yes I Have Some every month. <laughs> I don't get the bonus episodes. It's like when you though. give yourself a like on Instagram. <laughs> That's embarrassing, right? <laughs> we do that sometimes. I like, I'm always like, should I like Yes Have Some podcast stuff? I do. And sometimes I do. I it's only weird if you like it from the Yes Have Some page. Yeah. Like I, then I, that's I've, weird. I've noticed that President Donald Trump, President of America, will retweet his own posts and like them, yeah. um, which is literally the scariest thing he does. That's embarrassing. Uh, no, it's not. But that's another story for another time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash yes have some become a contributor and uh, for five dollars a month you can get in on the bonus episodes two to three bonus episodes and those bonus episodes are getting good just like our toy room they're really good good. so get on them cool 
Well, we're going to get to this interview. Before we do that, I do want to let everybody know that this week's episode of Yes, I Have Some Podcasts has been brought to you by the brand new book series from YHS listener, J. Key. The Adventures of Duke LaGrange, book one, How to Pick Up Women with the Drunk Space Ninja is out. You can find it on Amazon or wherever books are sold. Abby's playing air bass right now. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know it. She thinks she's I don't playing, know which side to play. She thinks she's playing air guitar, <laughs> uh, but it's air bass because you're picking uh, as a bass player. I know the does. music's going. The Adventures of Duke LaGrange is a three-part sci-fi comedy series starting with the first book, starting with the first book, How to Pick Up Women with the Drunk Space Ninja, and then books two and three are available now. How to Win at Pit Fighting with a Drunk Space Ninja and How to Save the Universe with a Drunk Space Ninja. For $12.97, you can get all three books, which are available exclusively on Kindle uh, through Amazon. And, uh, man, we've been saying it for a while. Now you can get this anywhere books are sold. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million. If you can buy books there, you can find Jay Key's book. Jay's a great guy. He's a friend of the podcast. He's a listener. And I've been saying it for a couple months. Happy to see our listeners following their dreams writing novels, and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. So pick up How to Pick Up Women with the Drunk Space Ninja, book one in the series. Read it. I would say read it over the holidays, but the holidays are over. So just read it on the weekends. Don't go out. You want to read more. It's a new year. You've got resolutions. Put this on your list. The world's scary. You have no reason to leave your house. Read a book for the love of God. Jake, you read. Yeah, I do some reading. Jake does a little reading. Jake's reading. Um, I read some words. Like I said, you can find the I'm books now exclusively on Kindle through Amazon. Thank you, everybody. We are going to get to this interview right now. Woo! Coming up, closing out the show. Lyndon Porco. I should have asked if he liked wrestling. Oh, shit. He likes The Rock. He likes to work out. God. Hey, spoilers. Oh, oh yeah. shit. I, I, how would I know? I haven't talked to this guy. Coming up, the exclusive interview with <laughs> Lyndon Porco, star of Leprechaun Returns. We've been working on this one for a couple weeks. We're very excited to have Lyndon on the show. Uh, make sure that you are checking out buying and or renting Leprechaun Returns on video on demand. And also leave it a review. These iTunes reviews help. You guys don't even understand. That is coming up right now. Thank you, guys. And are we ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, everybody joining us on the line right now, the exclusive Yes Have Some podcast interview. We've been waiting for this one. Mm-hmm. I know Jake and Abby have. Yeah. yeah. The, the fans have been waiting. The fans have been waiting. I've been excited. Uh, Lyndon Porco, star of Leprechaun Returns. Thank you so much for joining a Yes Have Some podcast tonight. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. So um, we really appreciate you, you stopping by. We, we reached out to you. We all watched the movie uh, a couple weeks ago when, when it, first came out. Jake, I think you've watched it five, six times already. <laughs> Jake well, just I've watched, watched it a few it. times. I mean, may, maybe we should give him a little bit of background that we we did like a full Leprechaun episode uh, bef- before this movie was released. Uh, and it's just like, it's just such a fun franchise and just off, just right off the top, this movie fits perfectly in. Yeah, I've seen it multiple times. It's great. Um, Lyndon, <laughs> man, let's... Uh, I guess let's backtrack a little bit. How is uh, how has the reaction been? I mean, this is one of your first big starring roles. How's it been so far? Uh, it's been great. Uh, I'm just happy uh, that the fans uh, really enjoy uh, my performance in the franchise. That was uh, that was definitely key and something that I uh, I worked really hard on is to just try and perfect uh, not only the the character but uh, the accent and and the portrayal that uh, that I'm trying what I'm trying to portray um, to uh, to the audience and to uh, the characters and the, and the cast. Uh, uh, with the show, so I just uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and uh, I uh, I'm happy that you've seen it uh, a couple more times as well. I've probably watched it about uh, uh, six or seven times myself. So. Nice. Yeah, dude, you knocked it out of the park, like 100%. And I was looking at your Instagram, and I saw you already have a little background with the Cult of Chucky stuff, doing the body double. So you can tell that you knew what you were doing in this role, and honestly, like. I'm, I've been excited about talking to you when we watched the movie. Like we were like, we need to get this guy on ASAP because we all legitimately <laughs> enjoyed the film. So very, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I yeah, really dude. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, totally. So let's backtrack a little bit. Um, you've been acting for a while. How did you uh, get started? Talk about uh, maybe your early days, uh, you know, kind of breaking into the film industry. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, I believe the first time I actually did uh, uh, something was actually my parents had me do, uh, I think, like a Toys R Us um, photo shoot for what? some of the toys that they were promoting or something like that. That's uh, cool. Yeah, that, that was something something uh, along those lines I, I did when I was a baby. Um, and then uh, I guess it was when I was six years old, I did a little episode um, on a TV show, I was just sitting on Santa's lap and telling him what I wanted for Christmas. Uh, so I did that when probably when I was six years old. And then what really kicked it off is I met Vern Troyer at the World of Wheels in Winnipeg, uh, where I'm from. And uh, he has the same type of dwarfism as me. And so we just got to talking and he asked me what I was interested in. I told him acting was definitely something I would uh, consider as a career in my future. And he got in touch with his manager and one thing led to another. I sent a tape down to L.A. um, for Little Man and uh, I ended up being the the body of of Calvin in, uh, in Little Man. That's wow. cool. That's such a cool story. Yeah. What yeah. a cool dude to help you out like that. Yeah. Like that's we, we, special. I'll always regret. We, we, go, we go to a lot of conventions and we, we, you know, we try to meet as many people uh, uh, as we can. We, we did see Vern Troyer a couple years ago. Um, he was buying an exotic sword. Yeah. He was buying like a knife or a sword and I didn't want to bother him because he looked like he was very... Uh, you know, intent on, on making this transaction. Uh, but I would have loved to meet him. I mean, I mean, Vern Troyer, I mean, he was part of all of our lives growing up. Yeah. Um, that's mm-hmm. really cool that he helped you out like that. Yeah, it was uh, definitely something special and something that I'll never forget. So yeah, I, uh, I pay, uh, I pay a tribute to, to him, uh, for my acting career for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so as far as horror movies goes, I mean, Leprechaun is kind of like people like this series like we like like Jake said we we did a whole episode covering all of the Leprechaun movies uh did you have any kind of like background did, were you familiar with these movies were you a fan of them before going into this yeah what's this? your horror background in general um so yeah I uh, I was definitely aware of the movies uh, for sure uh, but to be honest with you guys I, I am scared uh, absolutely crapless of horror I tell you like, oh, I, dude. I, uh, I'm one of those people in the movie theater that my friends drag me out because they just want to see my reaction uh, to see how scared I can actually get I'm one of those people who have the hood on the pulling up all the way to my eyes so I just have this little gap um, yeah. uh, it's uh, I don't I don't necessarily enjoy watching the horror I uh, I don't uh, I don't not a huge fan but I definitely like the genre of of the leprechaun because it not only is is a horror but it's more of a it's more it's 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 a comedy as well right mm-hmm. so you, when you bring those elements in, into a production and uh, you can't there's nothing else to do but have fun with it so uh, I, it was uh, it was a lot of fun to do for sure. Uh, uh, but other, uh, but my whole background, um, I, I would say, definitely happened with uh, with the cult of Chucky and and being on set uh, of that um, with uh, Don Mancini. He he was uh, he's amazing, um, and so yeah, just learning uh, the in and outs of the whole industry. And then I also did um, Channel Zero, uh, which actually just got actually canceled today oh like today yeah Uh, yeah which uh which really sucks because uh nick is is amazing as well uh he's the writer for for channel zero it was the the just how he portrayed uh what he wanted to on on the on the screen was just it was amazing to to be a part of that so i played a a homey nucleus child that uh we were actually uh were cannibals and and uh just trying to um, get people to join over to to our side and and whatnot. Uh, if if anybody hasn't checked it out already, I would definitely check it out. It's one of the one of the better horror TV shows uh, that has been aired for sure. Mm-hmm. I've heard a lot about Channel Zero. Uh, I have not watched. Jake, are you a fan of that? I saw the. I I've seen the first season and I and I did really like it. I haven't been able to uh, pick it up since then, but it. That first season is great. It is definitely worth watching. Mm. Cool. Very cool. Uh, so, Lyndon, were you um, 
were you stressed or or apprehensive about um, you know this movie has a cult following like people love the leprechaun films uh, and obviously Warwick Davis is like not only iconic as the leprechaun but he's an iconic uh, actor for anybody in our generation um, Star Wars and Willow and, and everything else were you nervous at all like taking up the mantle uh, you know I- you, I never, I didn't really let it bother me, really, um, in the sense of uh, what I was doing. I just, my, in my mindset, I went in uh, in there every day looking to give and prepared to give 150% of my performance and, and what I had in the tank, uh, every single take, every whatever they needed me to do. So I just, and I think it helped as well that he's, that Will Davis is, he, yeah, he's absolutely an icon, but he's also a little person as well. So I could relate to to that in a sense. Um, that uh, I, I'm just I, I'm an actor. I'm going to go in there, do my thing, and uh, give give my best uh, to the to the, my performance, and uh, hope hope everyone enjoys it. So, uh, but yeah, it was definitely uh, definitely something I I, I thought about uh, previously. But I just kind of said, okay, you know, go in there, get it done, do what you need to do, and um, just, yeah, just do what I need to do. That's probably yeah. the best way to go about it, like, honestly, because if you try to, if you if you become, like, too obsessed with trying to be, you know, a perfect, like, recreation of something somebody else did, then you're just going to get bogged down in it, probably, and, and probably lose your mind a little bit, so... Uh, that, that's probably like the best way to look at something like that. But I, I remember even from the whenever whenever that like teaser dropped where it's I, I, rem, I remember just from that being like, whoa, like this is this is great, you know, and like something doesn't have to be, uh, you know, 100 percent. Like you don't have to copy somebody else to 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 do the same character. I think you I think the way you pulled it off is is pretty spot on. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. You brought freshness and life to something that we all love very, very much. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We kind yeah. of have a running like so. Uh, we we've we've become the self proclaimed number one leprechaun podcast in the world, as well as the number one child's play podcast. <laughs> we in the worked world. really hard on it because we exactly, talked about yeah. these movies so much. Yeah, I watched all of um, them. We do. It got to the point where like if you searched leprechaun on iTunes, we were the first podcast to come up, and we like we took pride in that. <laughs> so. <laughs> But um, yeah, so, we're Aussie fans. Yeah, Aussie's back. We in this love movie. it. He's yeah, great. and I love this movie. I love the uh, the female cast. Like, it looks like you guys had a lot of fun on set. I can only imagine that. I'm looking at this video of you dancing to Kendrick Lamar in your yeah. Leprechaun outfit, and it's like amazing. Um, but what was that like? Like working with those ladies and that crew? It looks like it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, the cast and the crew was 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 amazing. Um, to get the uh, to have Ozzy back and and uh, to have it even more portrayed uh, as a sequel to the original film mm-hmm. definitely helped. Um, just right off the bat from the from the first scene um, of the movie that he's in, it's just like okay, you know, this is this is getting right back to where where they they were. Yeah, the um, so. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, yeah, we're back to the roots, and you could tell that. Like, we did a trailer review, I think, of this when it came out. Like, we were we were on the like path for this movie before it even dropped. So, it's definitely like in that original vein, which is something that we all respect and enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Uh, that's uh, that's awesome. I love that you guys were, were on top of it right from uh, right from March seventeenth of twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and after my first viewing, I remember I called Jake, Abby, and I watched it. And and what I loved was that even though you embodied the spirit of the, of the character, um, you brought like new life to it, and it felt fresh. And it it never feels like you're doing uh, like an impersonation of uh of, right. of warwick davis because at one point you like see a reflection of yourself and you're like oh i'm better looking <laughs> yeah. i love that yeah. <laughs> i feel like good yeah i and uh i i really i really loved that so yeah. uh we're just gonna rain down praise on you we're just gonna the, tell you how much we like you <laughs> 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 um going back a little bit what was the um 
Like, what was the audition process? How did how did this movie uh, first get on your radar? I just before we go to that question, I just want to uh, talk a little bit more about the cast, just because they uh, they truly were amazing, and uh, the cast and the crew were were phenomenal. I had to uh, I had to definitely get used to uh, people just staring at me, and I'm kind of looking at them back like. The hell are you looking at? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Because I honestly, you honestly forget. Yeah. Um, anyone who's who's probably done prosthetics, has, you honestly forget that you're in this makeup, right? Like you just, it just, it becomes part of part of you, and you just right. go in there and you just you do you do your thing, kind of. And you have people looking at you, really looking and just staring at <laughs> at, at your face and and the details mm. and whatnot. I'm just kind of like. Okay, what? Stressing you out, yeah. Oh, oh not, not even that. I Because I'd have to think back, and I'd have to be like, oh, yeah. Like, I touch my face. Oh, yeah, I'm in that makeup. Oh, I'm oh, terrifying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, there's definitely some moments where they had this, uh, this, I guess it would say, a styrofoam of me as, as kind of like my, my body double so they could set up the shot kind of yeah. thing. And a lot of people would think that, that that was actually me as the, as this body double because they would dress it up and uh, as the leprechaun. And so it was, it was pretty funny to see that. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, the cast, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. The cast and the crew were, were fantastic. Um, uh, we had so much fun on set. We, whenever I had an off day or I wasn't on set, I would still go to set and just hang out because, uh, we, you, you they become your family, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love how, uh, how connected we were and, uh, how much fun we had on the set. The, and the crew was, was amazing as well. I mean, I give all the props to them because they were so quick, um, whenever there was a, a set change, whenever, uh, whatever, uh, Steven needed or whenever, whatever anybody needed, they were so quick to just get it right. Here it is. Bang. Done. Let's get, let's, let's do this. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely one of the best, uh, cast and crews I've ever worked with for sure. That's awesome. Very I cool. love hearing that yeah. because sometimes mm-hmm. you hear uh, the opposite. Sometimes mm-hmm. uh, making a movie is not easy. Like that's the one thing you hear time and time again. Mm-hmm. It is long hours. and Yeah, if you want to be on that set, that means it's a good environment. Usually like set is pretty stressful. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. Very um, cool. Yeah. And where, where was it? It was in – were you in South Africa is where it filmed? South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Dang. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, awesome. I I think it's awesome. I mean, I've never been there. So any yeah, any place I've never been, I'm know. like, I can't even believe it. That's awesome. <laughs> I would I would definitely definitely check it out as uh, as a tourist uh, uh, location for sure. It, they've got tons of things you can do just in, oh, especially Cape Town, but um, other places as well. There's 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 tons of things you can do. It's it's yeah, it's definitely beautiful there. I got a lot of great pictures. Nice. Very cool. Um, uh, Cape Town's where Cape Town's where you can go see those sharks. Yes, uh, that is something that I will never do in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, That's another thing I'm scared of. Sharks. Sharks. Interesting. For me, uh, I, I'd be a snack. Like I wouldn't even be a snack. I'd be like a. <laughs> yeah. the, 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 I'd be a cracker on on a plate. Like. <laughs> oh man. Appetizer. Oh. Dude, Would awesome. um, is there a specific reason you're afraid of sharks other than they're terrifying? I mean, they're scary. <laughs> like I don't like uh, sharks either. No, I just uh, yeah, no, I just. I mean, have you seen the teeth? Yeah, Dude, it's, those yeah. things just crazy. No, uh, no, I I uh, I love watching uh, like Shark Week. I, I watch uh, Shark Week with my with my mom every now and then. Mm-hmm. Um, that was something we really enjoyed doing. But uh, I find them absolutely fascinating. I just. I just can't dare to be in uh, the vicinity of a, of a shark. I just, I would panic. Yeah, Jake, you know, and that's why I've been telling Jake, don't go that. swimming with those sharks. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna do it with with uh, because some of the cast and crew did it, and they they absolutely loved it. But um, you actually you like you're in a cage, not you're still attached to the boat. Mm-hmm. It's, 
in South Africa is what they were telling me. Um, and then you could come up for air whenever you need. Um, but yeah, you would still be in this, just this cage, just metal cage. And yeah. Now I'm just thinking of Jaws. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, that so, sounds- I, I respect your like staying away from it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so going back a little, so you mentioned, let's see, I'm trying to think the timeline cult of Chucky that filmed in 2016. Does that make, is that about right? So you, uh, you, would have, sure, yeah. yeah, I think you would have completed that. And then how did, um, how did Leprechaun get on your radar? Um, so yeah, uh, the addition process and whatnot, uh, let's just pull everything up. So, uh, sorry here, all right. Uh, so yeah, so it was a call to Chucky, um, uh, 2017 and then, uh, so I just got to let my buddy in here. Oh, you're fine. Do it. Let your buddy in. It's good. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Lyndon Porco is on the line, and he's letting, letting his friend a buddy in. in. Letting his friend in. Jake, would you let us in if we showed up? Of course. Yeah, Thank I you. would. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, it was called the Chucky uh, 2017, and then it was uh, Channel Zero, and then it was Leprechaun. So. Uh, can you just clarify the question again, just to make sure I'm answering it correctly? Yes. Um, I was just kind of wondering, like, um, obviously, as a working actor, you're, you're always going to be keeping your eyes out for scripts and new opportunities. Um, how did uh, how did you first hear that, like, they were doing a new Leprechaun, and how did you get involved, and, and what was that audition process like? Uh, so, yeah, I just heard um, from my agent uh, about the audition, and so I was very excited when I when I got it and started doing the research of uh, of the leprechaun and uh, and how he he talks so I did I listened to to podcasts of um, of uh, of an Irish accent and so uh, I did that for for I studied that for a couple of days before uh, my audition. And then, so I would just keep listening to it, trying to perfect the accent. I would talk over the phone with my with my uh, with my pops, saying, "Hey, you know, how do you how do you think this sounds uh, and whatnot?" And so, yeah, uh, the audition process was: I sent a tape in, um, and I didn't really hear anything for about a month or two, um, and then I got another. A uh, message from my agent saying, "Hey, uh, here is who's that leprechaun tape you did? They want to see. They want to do a Skype audition. Or uh, are you willing to do that?" I said, "Absolutely. Let's let's get this thing done." Um, uh, so then it was. So I got that. Don't know exactly when, but then the Friday I uh, sent the tape in. Uh, sorry, not, we we did the Skype audition and. Um, yeah, it was it was uh, it was great. I did it with uh, Stephen Kostansky Kis- and uh, Lance Samuels, so uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, a little uh, little funny thing that happened was they the first time they had me do the audition, uh, they actually they wanted to record it so they could watch it back, obviously after, and um, they ended up recording themselves instead of recording me. So. Uh, <laughs> That was pretty cool. So I think that would be, uh, if this comes out on DVD, that'd be a little uh, cool tidbit to uh, to have in the special features, um, just to to have to see their reaction to to what I did. That would be uh, that would be pretty pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that that would be me a hundred percent. I'm just recording the wrong thing. <laughs> like we do this whole interview, and I just have Jake the whole time, and nobody else is just on me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So that's interesting. Yeah. So they, they do the Skype audition, and then is it another couple of weeks before you hear anything? So it was, yeah, it was actually. I think it was two weeks later that I heard, I heard that I got the part, and so that was uh, that was that was awesome. I was I was really excited. Um, and then uh, the original plan was, I believe, to film in Toronto, but it was in the middle of winter. So then uh, Blue Ice Productions, uh, Lance Samuels. Um, Said, hey, you know, I, I just finished shooting something here. Um, let's let's shoot it here, and so that's what they did. And uh, yeah, Cape Town was amazing. 
That's awesome. Wow. Although I do want to see another Leprechaun movie in a winter, like snowy environment. I think that oh, would that'd be, be cool. cool. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah, I'd um, watch that. So, uh, Lyndon, you mentioned DVD, and that was something I was going to ask you. Uh, the movie now is available, uh, you know, for download, video on demand, iTunes, all of that. Um, we have uh, the Leprechaun 7 Blu-ray collection, uh, <laughs> and it is incomplete, and it's messing with all of our OCD. So, uh, will we be getting a, a DVD or Blu-ray release of uh, Leprechaun Returns? I I do not know uh, the answer to that question, unfortunately. Um, I I wish I had an answer for for everyone that that that's asking, but um, uh, I don't feel like I sh- can answer that. So I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Cool. <laughs> cool. We're gonna put that as a hard. I don't know. Let's move on. Yes. <laughs> yes that, is, that um, is definitely an I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that's cool. I mean, I, I, I would hope uh, we, we would be able to get that mo- um, that movie uh, because you mentioned special features. And I would love to see like the screen tests and some of the behind the scenes stuff. It's always fun to to see that, especially if it's a movie uh, that you like. Mm-hmm. Not so much of a movie that you could care less about. Um, there's nothing worse than watching like the deleted scenes to uh, some Julia Roberts wedding movie. Like I don't even right. know the reg- uh, regular scenes. Get yeah, pass, hard pass, hard pass. Um, no offense, love Julia Roberts. Mm-hmm. Um, so once you film, Lyndon, how? Uh, I'm trying to think. What was the turnaround time? Was it like six months before release, or was it longer than that? Uh. Well, we've ended filming around April seventh, I think. Okay. Uh, okay. So it was. It was. We did six day weeks, which was. Uh, which was. Was 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 uh, definitely took a toll on on the body, but it uh, definitely was in the end for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, no. So it was April seventh, and then it came out on December eleventh. So it was a. It was a bit of a, a turnaround for sure. Yeah. Um, and did you, so you said you don't like horror and this is the question that I think we've all been wanting to know. Did you mm-hmm. at least watch Leprechaun 4 in space as part of your preparation? Uh, I, I, did, I did not. No, what I, what I did watch was I watched the first Leprechaun, um, while mm-hmm. I was in South Africa just to get a fresh taste of, of, uh, of how Warwick Davis's portrayal uh, came across. Um, and, uh, so that was definitely helpful to, to get that really fresh in my mind and, and, and whatnot. So, cool. um, but I, no, I did not watch the, uh, the other ones. I just kind of wanted to keep it. So I, I watch it. Uh, I, I knew what he did. I could bring in some of the, uh, wittiness and some of the horror that he portrayed. Um, but most of all, I wanted to keep it, uh, my own and, and, and like a lot of, uh, you guys have said, and, and other fans, uh, it was a bit of a, a fresh face. Yeah. So I really, I really enjoy, uh, hearing that come across, uh, that that came across to, to sure. the audience because mm-hmm. that, that means, uh, that means the world to me. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I just kind of just went after it. Nice. Yeah, I mean that that was probably a good idea, but uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah because um, I imagine even subconsciously, if if you take in too much of the original stuff, um, you wouldn't want that to affect your uh, performance one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Um, well, cool. How is the um, so the response has been positive? You, you said you've been having a really good time. Have you been able to interact with fans? Uh, have you been, done any conventions or plan on doing anything like that? Um, because I think people would really want to uh, to meet you and, and hear from you, maybe doing some Q&As yeah. and panels and things like that. Um, I, I haven't done anything yet, but that's definitely something I, uh, I talked to my agent about, um, in this new year is cause I had a couple of uh, people reach out to wonder uh, if I'd be interested. So yeah, I'm uh, absolutely interested in coming to, uh, those cons and doing question Q and A's and, and, and whatnot. Um, yeah, I just, I think whatever I can give to the fans to, to make them, uh, the happiest is, uh, I'm willing to do so because they, uh, that's, that's, that's what the, uh, that's what the, that's who the movie is for. It's, it's def it's for the fans, right? So. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, dude. I hope you do some conventions because I do think people would show up and it's a fun scene. We go to a lot of sci-fi horror conventions, so I recommend it. I I definitely uh, definitely would love to do them for sure. It's yeah. definitely on my bucket list to yeah. to go to some conventions for sure. Mm-hmm. Even though the movies are scary, the people are very nice that go to those conventions usually. <laughs> in, in general, <laughs> some, maybe a little wait, scary too. Some of them are scary. Some of them are also some scary. Are scary. <laughs> some of the actors are scary. I will not look at uh, Kane Hodder who played Jason in a couple of movies. I can't interact with him. The, the first he, time he freaked he's you scary. out. He's very scary. He's very scary. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I look at Kane Hodder the way that Lyndon looks at sharks. Like, I just want no part of it. <laughs> Get away. Um, you know, one thing that I would definitely consider doing for sure is actually dressing up in, in the whole leprechaun gear for, for a couple of these conventions as well. Just to. Oh, my God. Uh, no. Will you try? He, he uh, just come to come our, our house. house and do that? Damn it, Jake. <laughs> Give the fans, uh, the, the fans uh, a really good look and, and how much. Tail actually went into uh, into it. The, my, the prosthetics team that I worked with, um, uh, Graham and Nicola, were just they were phenomenal. Um, so nice, made everything easy for me. Um, yeah, it was it was great. So uh, would this uh, would definitely love to do that for the fans. Cool, they would love it. That, well, would, be, the- that would be amazing. That's that's becoming like a that's becoming a big thing at conventions, and a lot of people are starting to do that. That would be amazing. Yeah. And I think that as the self-proclaimed number one leprechaun podcast, we should just go ahead and throw a leprechaun convention, a leprechaun, <laughs> a leprechaun, and then you can come le- down. Leprechaun, yeah, it's perfect. Let's do it. That'd be Why cool. not? Cool. Um, we watch be- all the movies. Yeah. I have a lot of planning you know, to do. <laughs> a lot of planning. <laughs> a lot of planning. You listen. I don't. I don't. I don't know how much like we really, or I don't know how much you really know, or how much you could even say if there, if there is anything here. But like one of my one of my favorite things about this movie is the way. Um, the way it ends, like what one like trope in movies, especially horror movies, is to like be very ambiguous with whether or not the the villain is dead in the end. And in this movie, it's just like he's just hitchhiking, which I thought was the funniest and just best way possible to end this movie with him just like kind of defeated but more just like annoyed <laughs> but they but they clearly show us like he's still around yeah yeah that was that, that was a lot of fun uh to do with uh, especially with some some live chickens in the back yeah <laughs> yeah I, love but, I mean uh you know what where, where, where are we going from here that's that's a question i'll leave up to you yeah <laughs> <laughs> Jake, uh, right the leprechaun is the, is who you see in the mirror? You got you got to ask yourself he's, that question. Yeah, the leprechaun it's asks Susan's the questions. Side when you look in the mirror, <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> um, Lyndon, one thing I'm interested in. You, you're not a huge fan of horror, but obviously you you, you uh, have chosen the film industry. Yeah, like a, Jamie Lee Curtis, you're stuck with it. Yeah, you're stuck with <laughs> it now. Um, what yeah. uh, what kind of movies do you enjoy? Like, do you have some favorite movies or franchises that that are your go to? Uh, I love the Bourne franchises. Um, uh, some of the actors that I, that I really uh, enjoy watching are uh, like The Rock and, and Kevin Hart. It would be amazing to do a kind of a an action movie with them. I got a couple ideas in my head that I uh, would like to jot down on and uh, present I mean, to them. I'm but sold already. Yeah, I see <laughs> yeah, you and The sure. Rock team up. That would be I would de- Yeah, one hundred percent. Kind of a kind of an idea out there. So. Um, I'll definitely uh, definitely get get to, get to writing uh, a couple of those, uh, but yeah, movies. Uh, yeah, Jason Bourne. I love the Die Hards. Those were something I grew up on with with my dad. Uh, uh, I, to be honest with you, I can enjoy just about any movie um, just by watching the the performance uh, of the actors uh, and just going into to a movie with with an open mind. Mm-hmm. And and saying, okay, you know, this is what the story is. This is what the, this person's goals are. Um, how are they going to achieve that? Uh, let's just watch and, and enjoy the journey, right? So um, I, I, I really don't really say I dislike any movies. I, I find what I enjoy about a movie, and I make that, uh, I make that the um, what I think about. So rather than I go – I don't really go – 
towards negative too often rather than just go positive for sure nice that's the that's best the absolute best yeah. attitude yeah i, was like, I that's wish we could say that about every fan community but yeah that's that's how you have to do it a community you guys <laughs> the three of us <laughs> Dude. Jake, next time Jake calls me to tell We're me how cynical. much he hates a movie, I'm going to be like, "That's what would Lyndon think of this, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, uh, right. if, you, if you're doing it, then I'll, I'll see it on Instagram and I might let me- him a message back. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. We're going to yeah. call you out publicly, Jake. Do it. Um, um, it was actually interesting. There was a, a interview with John Krasinski this week. Uh, he was talking about um, uh, A Quiet Place and he, he was at some party and he was talking – shit about some movie and Paul Thomas Anderson pulled him aside and explained to him why uh, as an artist you should never put down another person's art. Wow. And it's like, well, if PT uh, Anderson is telling you that then just just Dude. go with it. Yeah. yeah for real. I would go. sit down yeah. at that point. <laughs> okay, Jim from the office, you made one movie. Calm down. Yeah, Jim. <laughs> Calm down. Did he call did he call Daniel Day Lewis over? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, talk to this man. Um <laughs> Well, man, Lyndon, we really appreciate you spending some time with us. We're going to have to get you out to Atlanta at, at a convention or just... Dragon Con. Uh, maybe you could come over and watch horror movies with us. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll force you to watch I'll horror movies. in the corner for most of them, but I'll, I'll, I'll try. Uh, we'll watch Hereditary. Holy we'll shit. All, it will all just... Uh, Whew, lose no. our minds? We'll all lose our minds together. Yeah. Um, so what what's coming up next for you? You said you have some ideas for some projects. Uh, obviously Leprechaun is, is still, uh, available for anybody who hasn't seen it yet. We definitely recommend go buy it, own it, spend a couple bucks so you can revisit it anytime you want. Um, but do you have any upcoming projects or, or things that you can talk about? Uh, nothing really at the moment. Just, uh, just auditioning whenever I get the chance and, um, uh, just writing and, and, uh, keeping that art alive and, and, uh, Yeah. Very nice cool. Uh, now, cool. Are you, you're from Canada. Do you still live there? I do. Yeah. You yeah, still live there. Yeah. Um, I saw a picture on your Instagram. You were playing some golf. Are, are you a golfer? Because I'm a golfer. Uh, I love golf. Yeah. Actually, my buddy that I let in is uh, who I golf with most of the time for sure. See, <laughs> nice. I need a friend to golf with. These two are always making fun of me. Jake says I have a secret life because I go play golf every Saturday and Sunday and never <laughs> tell anybody. He never talks about it. It's true. <laughs> is, your, is your game that bad? It's not. It's not. Uh, I I just bought new irons and and things are really clicking. It's getting for better. Me. It's getting better. It's getting better. Um, yeah. Uh, That's something I need to buy some new irons. Yeah, you use that leprechaun money and no, you, you use some uh, the leprechaun gold. Gold. And just oh show up, show to the show up at the PGA store with with that and just uh, I don't know where I'm going. You'll be all that. set. You'll be all set. Yeah. Um, put those coins with my face on the coins. Yeah, do that. No. Hey, here's a question. I want that. Did you um? Did you keep anything from set? Any props? We're big collectors. We we go crazy for this stuff. Uh, yeah. So the actually those mini leprechauns that they used. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, I got to keep one of those. So oh, wow, that's, nice. Uh, that's something that I would. Uh, that that I cherish for sure, for sure. That's, That's awesome. Amazing. Dude, yeah. uh, when yeah. I saw, all, I remember in the trailer when they showed all the the small leprechauns. I was like, oh, this movie's amazing. I don't even <laughs> see it. It's, I know it's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the Hammer Time stuff. It was just so much fun. Yeah. Like it just yeah. felt good to have fun watching a movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I smiled the entire time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. I, the movie it definitely is um, is good. I think I think it's definitely great for the fans. Um, something that somebody that's going to come into it and 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 that has an open mind, I think, will enjoy it. But what I've noticed in it for, with this movie is the more times I watch it, the I notice new things that that I notice. Like, oh yeah, even though I filmed it and I knew those things were coming, I, those are there's still some new things. And I'm like, oh yeah, that that happened. That mm-hmm. was just that was awesome. Uh, and that so it just brings back those memories. But yeah, I think uh, I think it was definitely a, a tribute to the fan for sure. I mean, Kiska, Kiska, uh, Stephen Kostansky—I uh, can't even pronounce the name now. Kaskan oh wow, Kostansky. Sorry, um, he is, he's a, a 
he's a fan uh, of of the horror genre and a fan of the the franchise as well. So he wanted to to make sure it was um, it was it served justice to the fans as well. So that was that was awesome to see. And he got right in there the first day of set um, was was in when uh, the first day of set we did the Aussie death and. Yeah. Uh, he was in there with the gloves and and had the blood all over, and uh, yeah, it was that was awesome to see a director get get in there and and physical with with all the blood and guts that uh, that happened. Oh, that part was so it sounds gross. like a good time. Yeah, but that oh, was like your. I love that scene. It was so gross. It was such a good introduction. And I felt so bad because I was really excited that Ozzy was back, and I was like, "Oh, there he goes." <laughs> yeah, but also that like that first reveal of the leprechaun, where he's like, "Where you say Papa?" That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so. It's like you're you're okay with Ozzy, uh, you know, dying if that's what you get out of it. Right. <laughs> scene, right. It was totally worth it. Um, For sure. Before we let you go, I, I did want to ask you, what was it like working with uh, Mark Holt who plays Ozzy? Because he's another guy who, you don't see him as much these days, but he was in like some iconic movies. He was in Teen Wolf and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, he, yeah. He's done some really good stuff. Was it an enjoyable experience working with him? Oh, yeah. yeah he, was, he was amazing to work with. Um, just the, to get the knowledge... Uh, from him, especially from the first Leprechaun, um, and just just to bring everything that he brought from the first one into this one, it was it was great to see and, and great to just just to get to know him as well. He's he's a he's a wonderful man. I mean, uh, he's such a great heart. It's yeah, it's he's amazing. Nice, cool. That's good. I love good to that. hear. I love that. Well, sure. listen, we uh, we really appreciate it. We'll have to do this again and. and Maybe down the line a little bit, get some updates on on what you've got going on, and hopefully more leprechaun movies mm-hmm. and, and more horror movies. Like mm-hmm. I, I know you don't, I know you don't want to just have to like watch horror movies to do research, but I hope you do more. Like maybe, hey, I'm, they're making a child's play TV series. Maybe you can be involved in that mm-hmm. somehow. Uh, and I I can't wait to see what you do next because. Uh, you kicked ass. Yeah, we love what we've seen so Absolutely. far. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, dude. Um, so if anybody wants to find you on social media and interact with you, uh, what's the best uh, steps for them to take? Uh, just search me up on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, just at Lyndon Porco. Um, my name there, and uh, that's the best place you can find me. Cool. Yeah. Well, we appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on all of your success, and yeah, we dude. will do this again very soon. Keep listening to Drake and lifting weights. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I connect with you on. I'm, I'm, I love it. I do the same myself. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very I, cool. I, I got a little special uh, thing to post again uh, tomorrow. So yeah. Oh cool. Uh, Hell yeah. Let's see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much, much for having me uh, again. Um, if uh, you reach out to you, uh, the Comic Con, oh, sorry, the Horror Con. Um, things and uh, I'd love to come out and, and definitely uh, see the fans and, and yeah just hang out Yes Have Some Podcast is brought to you by Carnivorous Creations your one stop shop for all of your proton pack building needs if you're in the market for a proton pack head to carnivoruscreations.com that's carnivorous with a K you're going to find aluminum motherboards resin parts, fiberglass shells and a whole lot more find them on Facebook at Carnivorous Creations or head straight to carnivoruscreations.com remember carnivorous with a K and get started on an authentic screen accurate proton pack uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. <laughs>